We're here with Jerry Wright of Save Face. Save Face is brand new in paintball, but they're not a new company. How did you guys start out, Jerry? So we started off in the bass fishing industry, and we're in uh, four different, five different markets now. Motorcycle riders, ATVs, airboats, snowboarders, snow skiers. So we're a pretty versatile company. And for years, we've had people ask us about making a paintball mask. So we decided to introduce something that was very unique in the industry, and we call it the World's Sickest Tactical Mask. Nice. What are, what are some of its main features? Uh, it has a attachable forehead, detachable forehead. We have just absolutely sick graphics. Anything your twisted little mind can think of, I can put it on my mask. We're here with James Grundy from Mac Development. James, you guys have had the Cyborg out for a few years now. It's been basically a high-end stack tube marker, but you've got something new that's not replacing the Cyborg, but coming along with it. What is it? Oh, that's right. It's our new gun. It's called the Droid. It's a single tube, spool-based marker. Uh, it's kind of a new direction for us. We're going to be taking this to show that we can do two high-end guns, which is kind of something different for a company these days because everyone kind of focuses on high end, mid, then low end. We want to try and offer something to the players which is high and low uh, on both sides of the spectrum, knock open valve and spool valve. Eric Roberts from Dye. Now Eric has played for years with the Ironman, recently stepped back to a non-playing role, having some more time to enjoy life but still coaching the team and very involved. Eric, you guys, there's obviously the new the new uh, Matrix series guns from Dye and Proto, but you've also got the SLG that's in a totally new price class where you guys have never gone before. What can you tell us about it? Um, this is the new super light gun. Um, it's targeted towards mainly the new guys. A lot of the new kids coming out on the market, um, they can't afford to spend a lot of money or don't know how much commitment they're really going to be able to give to the sport in order to invest a lot of that money. It does have all the Matrix and DM series technology that we've always had in all of our other guns, but it kind of steps back a little bit and kind of goes more towards the old mechanical way of, it does, of uh, its actuation and its inner, uh, inner workings. Um, a lot of people might look at it and see like the plastic frame and with the aluminum forged body and that's coming from giving it that light feel to it because a lot of the kids that are just starting to play are younger so they can't have that really heavy gun and with the composite frame on there it houses the solenoids the boards the batteries and everything else in there that makes it that high-end type electronic kind of mark. Simon Stevens Simon's director of research and development at key action sports the new product we have at World Cup is called the magna drive loader it's got a lot of new features both internally and in how it works and in terms of a whole new body style and layout configuration this is some very special technology. What we have inside the system now is an independent top surface from the paddle wheel. This means that even when you have a full loader of paint and you have, or you have something like Rebels with a lot of friction, all of that weight and friction that sits on the center will no longer slow down the drive speed of the paddle. So they work independently. Also, the paddle now works and it has a clutch system in it. If you see it and you look in close, as we get round to a maximum force setting, the clutch slips and then recatches and engages again. And that works with magnets and a magnet plate. So this is both, there's the magnet plate that is ready to slip, but there's still the spring system that we're used to from the halo and reloader design. Yes, absolutely. It's the best world of both combinations.